Hello everyone, welcome to Ohm Institute. I am Surendra Reddy, Faculty for Electrical Machines at Ohm Institute, Hyderabad. So very warm welcome to the session. I am going to talk about TS Genco 2024 Assistant Engineers Examination. There is an update just a few days back about the Assistant Engineers Examination, a much awaited examination from very long uh, time. The examination is going to be held on July 14th, 2024. That means we have exactly one month time left before the examination. So I have some exciting news for all the aspirants that we are going to conduct a free online mock examination for this particular exam. And remember the final examination will also be computer based examination in a similar pattern we are going to conduct two free online mock examinations. Okay. So I will reveal the updates at the end of the video. But before that what we need to do in this last one month in order to give best performance in the upcoming examination. Okay. So the first thing all the students has to understand believe. Believe that you are going to crack this examination. Self confidence is very important. Don't lose your uh, confidence. You always need to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your capabilities. Okay. Don't panic before the examination. So self confidence is very important. Just believe on your capabilities. So you have to believe on yourself. You have to believe on your memory power. You need to be very confident about your preparation and also about the examination. I know most of you are carrying a lot of burden on your shoulders. You are waiting for this examination from very long period of time. Your parents are waiting. Your family is waiting for a job. Okay. So keeping all these things aside, first thing is that self confidence is very important. If you take too much burden on your brain, it will definitely going to affect your final performance. Okay. All right. Next thing is revision. We have just one month left for the examination. So please focus on revision as well as practice. Of course, most of you are doing this from a very long period of time. But for last one month, I suggest uh, especially students who are preparing from very long time, don't study anything new right now. Okay. So just in one month, you can't learn a new subject. Maybe you can spend one week or 10 days extra for a new subject, but at least last 20 days, don't study any new subject or new concepts. Whatever you have studied so far, just, you know, rely on them, keep revising them, keep revising the formulas. Okay. It is memory power is very important because you have to answer 100 questions in just 100 minutes. So hardly you need to spend one minute per each question. Therefore, it is very important to remember the formulas to execute in the final examination. Okay. So just revise whatever you have studied so far and also practice, practice more problems in the last, uh, you know, few days. Okay. You can rely on previous questions. You can rely on mock examination questions or handout questions or any textbook questions, whatever you do, but try to practice as much as you can and give equal importance for part B of the examination also, because you know that part A and part B are both important. So, so many students are not giving enough importance for part B, especially general studies, computer fundamentals. Okay and the aptitude uh, section, you need to give equal importance. All right. Okay. Another big point I would like to mention for the last few days is please stay away from social media and the student groups, especially student groups. I hope most of you have joined so many telegram groups or telegram channels. I request all of you, please stay away from all these groups. WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Okay. You are watching me right now in YouTube, but I suggest you to stay away from YouTube also. Okay. All right. Just for one last time, you wanted to give your best effort. So staying away from social media will definitely save a lot of time for you. Okay. So as you are writing an examination without, you know, calculator also, that means there is no need of having a smartphone with you. Keep your phone in a switch off mode or in a silent mode just spend very few minutes on your mobile phone for the last few days. Okay. Please stay away from social media that will give you mental peace and also will save a lot of time for you. All right. This is one important suggestion I wanted to give for every aspirant looking for this examination. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> Next thing is that mock examination. 
okay because you are writing computer based examination earlier these ae examinations used to be in offline mode that is paper based examination first time you are writing this examination on a computer therefore enough practice is very important enough experience is also very important so i know many students are writing these online mock examinations in mobile phone please don't do that at least for this one month if you are writing any uh, mock examination please practice these mock examinations only on a laptop laptop or personal computer okay because your final examination will be on a, a personal computer so do the same thing in mock test also okay and assume that you are writing uh, you know mock mock exam itself is a final examination that is how you need to assume okay so that that examination environment will be created okay and also another important thing time management okay so you have to practice how much time you are spending on each question because you have to answer 100 questions in 100 minutes okay let's say out of 100 questions let us say you you started the examination the first three four questions itself are very difficult imagine you are uh, you are not good in let us say electrical machines subject okay you didn't study electrical machines at all let us say example but the first four questions in your mock examination or final examination is from electrical machines only then automatically your confidence level is going to reduce that is what you need to practice how to get over that how to come out of that particular situation okay i always use it to say to my students in classroom also whenever you are writing an examination when you are in the examination hall if you are unable to answer any question believe that nobody in the state is going to answer this question nobody is going to answer this question okay if you are able to answer any question believe that you are the only person answering that question that is how you need to improve your self confidence okay don't lose your confidence in case if you don't know few questions just at the starting of the examination itself just keep rotating the pages go to the next question go to the next question definitely you will find your favorite subject and easy questions as well okay so if the question is difficult it will be difficult to everybody if the question is easy that will be easy to only yourself and please keep equal importance for time management so how to improve time management that means how quickly you can answer the questions okay that to accurately accuracy is important and also answering the questions quickly is also very important okay so please keep uh, your focus on this particular area okay uh, check that in your uh, mock examinations that's why once a mock exam is completed you need to check the analytics okay every mock examination will have an analytics part in that analytic part so you can see what is the time spent by the topper of the examination and what is the time spent by you and how to improve it okay okay even though you are not doing well in mock examinations don't lose your hope okay keep on working okay uh, you can easily improve and you can do well in the final examination okay always remember mock exams are always difficult compared to final examination okay uh, usually according to my experience those students who scored uh, 70 marks in mock examination he can easily score 75 marks in final examination because final examination questions are slightly on the easier side compared to mock examination okay always remember that all right next thing is mental health okay so do some kind of meditative meditation activity every day so that will uh, boost your memory power also that will keep you calm for these last few days that will reduce your mental stress okay spend half an hour or 40 minutes on meditation every day uh, i hope most of you are doing every day and do the same thing for the rest of the you know uh, one month also and also take healthy food okay you are working hard for very long period of time okay uh, so for these last few days uh, you should not you know damage your health in case just before the examination if you if you become sick that will definitely affect your performance in the final examination remember the exam cannot be conducted again okay so this is one final opportunity for you okay so take healthy food for this last one month i know most of you are staying in hostels be very very uh, careful about the food that we, that you are eating okay so don't eat outside food especially for the last few days take some fruits or some kind of healthy food okay all right and be strong emotionally this is the point i told you at the starting of the video itself you are carrying a lot of burden on your shoulders your family is waiting for your job okay that will be always in your mind okay you are looking for a better career and you are waiting from long 
duration okay so almost most of the students are preparing from last one year two years and there are students preparing from last three years also okay so this will be always revolving in your mind but my suggestion is that for the last one month keep all these things aside okay so just to prepare like a wall just to prepare like a computer you should not have any emotions in your mind that will distract you from your preparation okay so that will create a panic in the final examination also okay so try to be like a computer try to be like a wall without any emotion that will help you in your final examination also okay so any kind of issues you may have family issues you may have financial issues you may have love problems okay girlfriend boyfriend keep everything aside give your best effort for this final examination okay so be strong emotionally and do your best okay so these are my last uh, minute you know tips for all of you okay i re- uh, i want every one of you to be successful in your examination so from the institute point of view for this last few days in order to help your preparation we are going to conduct two full length online mock examinations okay i will tell you the dates also but for this examination you need to register yourself it is free of cost so the first examination will be on july 23rd and the second examination sorry first examination will be on june 23rd okay june 23rd the first examination will be conducted and on july 7th that is just one week before the second examination will be conducted okay i will share the registration link in the description of this video please click on that link and register yourself just give your uh, basic details basic contact details so that we will give you access to attend this particular online online mock examination and uh, one more point please write this examination only on a personal computer and keep a scribble pad with you because that is going to be given in your final exam also how to use that scribble pad effectively is also very very important okay all right another last uh, tip i wanted to give so any question if you don't know the answer because there was no negative marking most of the students will select randomly either b or c something like that but i request in case if a time permits in the examination at least try to eliminate one or two options from the question okay sometimes if any question was given you can at least avoid one of the option i will tell you one example question like that suppose if i give you the no load current drawn by a transformer is equal to 5 ampere at an angle minus 70 degrees ampere <clears throat> this is the no load current drawn by transformer now the question is which of the following is going to be loss component current okay which of the following is going to be loss component current the options are given like that 5 cos 70 degrees okay 5 sin 70 degrees all right uh, 5 ampere 0 ampere okay some options were given like that you know that the no load current will have generally two components loss component current magnetizing current one will be active component another one will be reactive component but you are not exactly sure let us say you forgot that concept you don't know who is active component who is reactive component that means the answer should be either active component or reactive component that means can i say these two i can avoid at least so that my answer will be either a or b only okay so that is how at least try to avoid one of the option so that your probability will increase to get correct answers okay so this is one more thing you need to practice in your mock examination okay and as i said even though you don't know anything about the question don't lose your confidence the next question is always going to be easy the next question is always going to be from your favorite subject or from your favorite concept all right so with this i would like to conclude this video don't waste much time on social media this is my sincere request even on youtube also okay fine all the very best and we are looking forward to you in the online mock examinations thank you